Hi, so 10 years ago, these didn't exist. Now, over the past few years, they're getting absolutely everywhere. Just about every major city has got them, and you're finding more and more of them. Canterbury ran a trial about a year ago, and now it's fully fledged, and these are every street corner. E-scooters are becoming the answer to that last mile travel, and they're becoming much, much more than just a toy. So e-scooters are definitely something I'm very interested in. And when Windgo wrote to me saying, would I unbox and review one of their e-scooters? Of course, I said yes. And they offered me a range of their e-scooters. I had a look at them, including the ones that we've just seen, like the bird. And what I really liked was this, which is their B9 model. And the reason I liked it is because it had 12-inch wheels. So it's going to go over any curb that you really want to go over and maybe do a bit more than it's supposed to do. And I get figure those little scooters, the little wheels, are going to be a bit of a bumpy ride. I also kind of like the seat and I kind of like the shopping basket because I'm old, remember? <laughs> so I love the idea of those things. Anyway, let's get it out of the box and have a look at it. Immediately, slight disappointing thing, big bash in the top of the box. It came really quickly, about two days. That bash, well, it's got me worried. So we're gonna open it up and see if it's actually done any damage and what the rest of the package is like. But that's a real shame. Nothing to do with wind goo, hey? It's all got, all got to do with the handling company who most of the time seem to see packages as their own personal footballs. But let's see if anything's happened. That's it out of the box and that damage, no problem at all. Plenty of other packaging in there Assembly looks, looks ridiculously easy. Put in the seat, flip this up, and we're away to go. Seat comes in its own little box. Let's give that a put together. <laughs> Man, that's awesome. You have to kick it to get it going. Nice! That looks like well fun. Yes, please, okay. mate. <laughs> yeah. And because it's actually got. Oh, I tell you what, that's comfortable and quiet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's a fun ride and it certainly is cute. It's got some nice features about it actually. It's got disc brakes front and rear. Now the motor is uh, 350 watts peak power, 250 watts ongoing. It's 36 volts, the battery lasts for four hours and it has a range of 15 to 25 kilometers and a top speed of 25 kilometers per hour. So, Really, quite nicely specced. Now it has front and rear lights, and now that's a brake light, and the lights can be permanently on as well. It's got a really nice grip tape here on the footwell, actually, so you really feel like you're gripping on it. But it has a couple of compromises because of what it is. Now, to my mind, it actually looks like a mini motorcycle more than anything else, and it's probably around about that kind of power. The compromise it makes for that is that when you stood on the foot plate, you have to lean over a little bit to uh, work at the handlebars, but at the seating position, it's really very comfortable to ride around. So it's a really nicely made thing, and it has some great features to recommend it. But of course, we live in the UK, and the problem with the UK is that um, these machines are illegal. Strict interpretation of the law is that a machine like this is illegal to ride on public highways and on pavements and pedestrian areas. You're only actually allowed to ride them in privately owned areas where the landlord has given you permission to ride it. It's a bit like prostitution if you think about it. Prostitution in the UK isn't illegal. It's illegal to solicit. So these things are not illegal to buy and own, they're just illegal to ride them in public. And of course we're in a situation where you see these things absolutely all over the place. So clearly everybody's ignoring it. And the law is lagging behind the real situation. The government is in one of those curious positions where it's running to catch up. They're running an awful lot of trials of these things, which is why you're seeing those uh, machines in about 30 cities or something across the UK. And these trials are due to end in November 2022.
two, and there's a legislative period going to be going on after that. Now, on the 10th of May, the Queen announced that this legislation was going to be put into place. So that means that this term of Parliament, the legislation is likely to happen. Now, they fall foul of the um, 1984 Highways Act, which describes them as a motorised mean of transport, and so they're dealt with in exactly the same way as cars are being dealt with. And of course that's just ludicrous because they have far more in common with bicycles than they do with cars. And of course the bicycle legislation is already in place. And with the push to a greener commute and the wide-ranging um, application of those uh, e-scooters for hire, there's just nothing but confusion in the UK about what's going to happen with these things. And you're finding people owning and riding their own version of the uh, e-scooter despite the illegality of doing that. And of course the police, bless their hearts, just don't know what to do. So some areas they turn a blind eye. Some areas they enforce it. The um, Secretary for State for Transport, Schnapps, has said that he wants to have the illegality of them enforced a little while. Meanwhile, the government is in consultation, passing laws on how to deal with them. The laws, or the likely laws, aren't yet known, but the ideas around the consultation are becoming public knowledge. Lots of talk about it, lots of people saying what's likely to happen with these things, and it's felt that what's likely to happen with them is they're going to fall in the framework of the electric bicycle. So what you can expect is front and rear lights, minimum 12, a maximum rather 12 inch wheels, which is what this has got, a 250 watt motor peak power, uh, average power motor, which is what this has got. So this is quite likely to fall into the new legislation that's coming out as the maximum in the UK that's going to be allowable, because the issue is the UK is lagging behind at the moment. We were looking around about November or so, when that issue is going to be resolved, much in the favour of e-scooters, mostly because of the push to the green economy. And this will fall at the top limit of what an e-scooter is going to be allowable in the UK. Now, you do get people buying them in the UK, you get people using them in the UK, you can read reviews of them in the UK. And the people who are buying this kind of thing are pretty much exactly like me. They're using it for trotting around town and doing their shopping, which is exactly what I think this thing is for. It's meant just to do that last mile stuff. This is a, I think it's 15 kilos basket that this will cope with. So you put your shopping in there, you go to the local, local supermarkets fast enough to get you home without you feeling like you're an invalid in an invalid chair, and yet we'll do that work for you. So it's um, a little ahead of its time, but only in terms of months, I feel, that this would actually be quite a nice machine to own because we now have one and we have to do something with it because we were given it to review and riding up and down the private land isn't enough to be able to really review this we need to take it through a few paces so we have two options one is to ask a friend of ours who does have private land and the other isn't to wait until midnight and wear a moustache and cape we're quite likely to ask our friend if we can ride this around a little bit to give you a better view of what this is because it is a nice machine we found it's sturdy it's fun it's comfortable and it's quite likely to be the top end of what you can buy in the uk for a run around and that's likely to be sort of the november december time so we are a little ahead of our time here being able to review this i'm certainly pleased to have got the first look and first try at it and of course we'll be doing some more stuff on it so keep tuned to this one anyway thank you very much for watching i hope you're enjoying the video so far and please do remember to like and subscribe